All right, I have got two Dinner Skinner sheets cut out and two BC Special sheets cut out. These are Ann's. And uh, one of these is Mystery Shopper. And the other one is Jerry. I want to tell you a funny story. Uh, I just went and filled up all my gas cans and my truck at the little market near us. And while I was there, the uh, tanker truck was delivering gas. Well, I delivered gas for a few years. Well, not even a few. It was a few months. <laughs> a few years. It was a few months. And that was enough to tell me that uh, people are crazy. They do crazy stuff near you when you're delivering gas. Uh, I've had people come up and ask me for a light right there at my fuel dumps with just, you know, gas fumes coming up all around me. Uh, I've had people drive over the top of my uh, cones and knock my hose off the fuel dump. Uh, it's just, anyway, today the guy was delivering gas and connected to these in-ground fuel tanks are these vapor pipes that are usually you know, 50 feet away from the tanks and they come up, they're really tall. And the vapor, when they're delivering gas, comes out of them. And I'm getting fuel in my gas cans and I see smoke waft past me. And I stop pumping my gas and I turn around. And there's this uh, lady that works at the store standing out there right beside these two vent pipes with gas fumes coming out. And she's smoking. I, and I looked at her and she looked at me. I said, do you realize what you're standing next to? And she looks at the yellow pipes and the, the big red sign that says no smoking within 50 feet. And she says, oh, it'll be all right. Okay, lady, you're going to take a whole lot of people with you when this goes up. I just couldn't believe it. She wasn't the least bit concerned about all them gas fumes. And, uh, not only smoking a cigarette, but she lit it there too. I just kind of, just, boy, I tell you, and it reminded me of why I realized uh, hauling gas, it didn't pay enough to haul gas. That just was a, a dangerous job and stupid people made it even more dangerous. Okay, now on to the next, the most important thing about making sheets is coffee. I'm going to go home and get me a cup of coffee and, uh, Maybe a nibble in, nibble in the refrigerator. I think there's some radishes in there I'm going to eat. Oh, yeah, I'm down to 277. 277. That's a nice number. 275 is going to be a, a nice number. Okay, we'll be back after a cup of coffee and maybe some radishes. All right, I have got Anne's two knives, sheets rather, uh, glued. I have to let this dry overnight tomorrow. I'll sew them and do my fade. And then I will uh, do the two BC special sheets. Here's Ann's knives, just in, just in case you forgot what they look like. And uh, they, those are both identical too. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. It uh, hadn't been a long day. Uh, I come out here this morning and turn my heater on because it's been so cold and rainy. And I'm probably going to leave this heater on overnight uh, to help these dry. And I'll be back out here in the morning to uh, sew these and start them. Well, uh, it's the next day. And uh, I'm not getting a lot done quick. And part of the reason is I'm spending a lot of time working on my... Uh, YouTube channel and what I'm doing is I went back to my very first video and that was 2,000 and some odd videos ago and I'm completely I'm removing all the old links affiliate links uh, I am altering the description or, or refining the description I'm putting more accurate titles to describe what the video is actually about and I'm choosing much more accurate thumbnail pics and some of them I'm getting off the internet and I have to make sure first that they're not copyrighted images so I can use them and uh, it's taken my god it probably takes 
oh, 10 or 15 minutes per video to do all this. So I am finally at video 900, which means I've done over 1,100 videos. And I'm doing 50 at a time, so I'm doing it mostly in the morning, early. And uh, I start the next 50 at night if I feel like it and finish them the next morning. So it's just taking a whole lot of time to do that. And then uh, the reason is the algorithm. Number one, I've learned a lot about YouTube and their search algorithm. And, you know, I've been real guilty of putting kind of silly titles. Like, I'll give you an example. And uh, let's just say I did a spicy mustard review. And I would title it, like, Fat Guy Loves Mustard. You know, something silly or funny. Uh, but that's not how the search algorithm works. When people search for, let's just say they're searching for a mustard review, they're going to type in, Mustard Review. They're not going to type in, Fat Guy Loves Mustard. So, I've been guilty about that my entire YouTube life. So, I've gone back and I've altered my titles to more accurately describe the video. I've also altered my description for the same reason, to accurately describe what's in the video. And I've gone in the tags. See, I've even tried to do funny stuff with the tags and... You know, it may give me a little chuckle, but it's not working for people who want to search for a video that has that topic. So, uh, I, I'm redoing everything, removing all the old links. I'm just putting my Amazon link in, that's all. And then, I'm coming out here and doing a little work out here. So, I'm at that point now. I've got Anne's sheath, her two sheaths sewed up. I've got uh, Sandy's. I mean, Mystery Buyer's knife glued. I'm going to let this dry till tomorrow, and then I'm going to sew this up. Uh, Jerry, I kind of kind of screwed up. Not a real bad screw up, but you see this knife? It's, it's a nice shine, but it's not a high polish. And Jerry asked for, let me see how much of this I can show without giving away information. Uh, Jerry asked for uh, a high polish, and I don't not I don't know why I didn't look at that. You know the thing is I uh, spent a lot of time doing other stuff, motorcycles, and having fun. And I took a couple of <clears throat> couple of months off, and then when I came back out here to the knife shop and resumed making knives, I did not look look at what he wanted as far as the the degree of finish. So. I sent him an email, short video, showing him the knife and what it looks like and offering it to him at my BC special price, which is $185. My polished price is $225. So I'm waiting for him to tell me whether he wants this knife, uh, whether he wants to cancel, or whether he wants me to start him another BC special with a high polish. So as soon as he tells me uh, what he wants to do, uh, I can proceed with that. Otherwise, if he doesn't want this knife, I'm just going to do my two-tone fade on this, and that will be for sale. But uh, I won't know till he gets back with me. So, I'm fixing to take these into my uh, knife shop. I'm going to put it on a bandsaw and cut the uh, excess off of this. Sand it flat, round my edges, and uh, do my fade and then put the edge on both Ann's knives and uh, probably get them in a mail Monday. And tomorrow I'll sew this, do my fade, put the edge on it, and get it in a mail Monday. So, I'll see you when I get these done. We'll be right back. 